the bombs bursting in air gave proof through the night that our flag was still there oh say does that star spangled banner For the land of the free and the home of the Good morning to you, it's 4 a.m. on this Monday, November the 1st already. Here are today's top headlines. A chaotic confrontation between police and a knife-wielding man in the San Fernando Valley. The latest on what became a deadly shooting. And a week of headaches for airline companies now stretching into the work week. More than a thousand flights canceled. Will travelers face similar issues today? Henry's favorite sandwich, the McRib, is back. What McDonald's is doing in honor of the return of the Super popular sandwich, early edition of the KTLA 5. Morning news starts right now. I believe Henry's phrase is something to the effect of if it's not a McRib, it's not for me. <laughs> and I'm like, you go, Henry. Is that it? Uh, good morning to you. Hopefully, you had a fantastic weekend. I'm Chris Shaw. I'm Megan Henderson. We are glad you're with us. We'll check your roads with Ginger coming up shortly. First, let's check in with Henry. Good morning. <laughs> I don't call it the McRib, Chris. You're mistaken. I call it the McFib. <laughs> ah, it's not a rib. It's not good for you. Uh, but you know what? To each his own. Hey, happy Monday, everybody. Hope you had a great weekend. We're going to be talking about some, uh, ah, maybe some light showers. We talked about this late last week. Said, you know, we're going to have this week disturbance and maybe Santa Barbara gets a little rain. Look at this. Maybe even Ventura County. We do have a little bit up against the mountains and the foothills as well. Squeezing out just a little moisture this morning. There's a haze. You can see some city lights. So it's not as if we're talking about blanket rain today. But if you do get a few sprinkles, there you go. Exactly why I mentioned this all of last week, Ginger, because when you get the tail end of a cold front that's just close enough, to say no rain in the forecast, not a good idea. There's always a chance, and we're seeing that out there this morning in some spots. We'll send it over to you. Hey, all I heard was McRib, and I am in. I don't know about you guys. That's okay. I'm all for it. <laughs> good morning to you guys. Good morning, everybody. So we have a few things going on at this hour. So this 14 South at Avenue S, S like as in shovel. There you go. Uh, they're talking about some debris that's in the carpool lane. So it's really one of those situations where they'll probably stop lanes. I think it's like concrete debris, and then to clear it and get it completely out your way but you know in general we're seeing what nothing but a great ride and you see it free flowing open conditions that's nice now heading into the heart of downtown 110 north right about 4th street a type with a couple of cars those are still sitting in the left lane and you see it that's also really nice so maybe some people just waking up a little bit later after doing trick-or-treating, you know, all that other stuff and off that sugar high. Other way you look at it, we're still checking out and tracking a pretty good ride. A lot of cars on the road, at least in the early hours, but nothing major in lanes. I'll send it back to you, too. Ginger, thank you. Now at 4 a.m., hundreds of flight cancellations over the weekend led to a frustrating situation for passengers. KTLA 5's Megan Tellis live at LAX with the details. Megan, good morning. Chris May, good morning to both of you. And not a great morning for a lot of people who had canceled flights over the weekend. I say the big headline again, American Airlines and Southwest. Southwest not as heavily impacted, but still impacted with hundreds of canceled flights. You know, it's back in action again today with a couple hundred canceled flights. Let's go ahead and get into the information you see on the screen now. I checked this moments ago. This information coming to you from flightaware.com. This is a flight tracking website. And for American Airlines, if you are traveling, this is nationwide. I want to make that clear this is not just for LA, LAX nationwide American Airlines today at this hour four o'clock in the morning 251 canceled flights delayed flights 100 and then Southwest Airlines canceled flight 75 delayed flights 105 I can tell you by late afternoon yesterday American had canceled more than 900 flights that's a third of its schedule for the day and that is after they already had canceled 900 flights over the previous two days so over 1800 canceled flights over over the weekend. Now, how does this affect you? Every